what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are back to work on the duramax as you guys remember this thing got smacked in the front we put a whole new apron on it we got the spot welder spot welded it in it looks absolutely beautiful today we're going to go ahead and finish all this up there's a couple little spots we still need to weld and then once we do that we can sand it down get it looking real nice and victor can come in and spray this entire support He's gonna trim out this fender as well. And then we can go ahead and put it all back together for good, send it down to paint. He already went ahead and started prepping some stuff for paint, as you can see. So I still do need to tear down that rear door because we are going to be doing a blend since we're painting the entire side. So we've got to tear that down. This fender has some body work on it and it'll need to be trimmed out. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this thing welded in and ready for paint. That way we can start reassembling. I wanna go ahead and put the entire cooling system back in. Once it gets painted, that way it'll be completely drivable, safe, and nice. And that way we can get it over there nice and good. And also we won't have to deal with any of this after it's all painted and done. So let's go ahead and get into it and start welding. All right, so in the last episode, we left off spot welding this in. As you can see, it looks beautiful. We still have quite a bit to do. This panel right here, unfortunately, we can't spot weld from the factory. It's made to be plug welded. These were already pre-drilled. So as you can see, we need to weld those up. Also on that side, we have a couple little spots we need to weld up in the corner. And then what we need to do after all that is to mimic the seam sealer, get the seam sealer looking like it does from the factory, get this piece on, which we were missing, and we'll go ahead and get it all done. So let's go ahead and get this welded in and move forward and get it all ready for paint.
We got it all built. Now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna see if this thing fires up for the first time. So I'm gonna go see if it starts. If it starts, you can go ahead and take it to the paint shop. because it does need coolant so we'll fill that up get it over to Victor and let him spray this thing in but super happy with the progress this is a big turning point it's pretty much done ready for paint as you can see it's all assembled once he paints it we can do the final build the only thing I don't like is I didn't take this truck apart so I was really finicky trying to figure out where a lot of this stuff goes and I don't know what we're missing what we need versus if I had the truck and tore it down I could see every part, see what's damaged, get it ordered, and I'd know where everything goes. So it's definitely gonna be tricky from this point forward trying to get it completely built, but I think we can handle it. We're getting great, we're making great progress, so we're gonna take it to Victor, let him paint it, and we're actually going to move on to that white truck because we need to build that thing. As you guys remember, we got the cap corner done in the last episode and the bedside. Victor painted it, it looks absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna pull that in next and we're gonna start building that and see how it looks. Check it out guys, we got this thing put together. For the most part, we are missing some stuff. We got beautiful gaps, everything looks nice. Check it out on the inside, all super nice. We got everything reinstalled and both of these doors are built. Door shuts really nicely. And this one too. So it's definitely gonna need a detail, but other than that, we got it all built. I'm really happy how everything turned out. As you can see, this bedside literally looks OEM with the spot welds. And I'm super happy how all that looks. So fortunately we can't go any further on this. So we are going to pull it out. Also check it out. The gaps are really nice. Overall the tail light fits super good. I actually forgot to test fit this, but I'm really glad that everything fit nicely and turned out super good. So that's awesome. And also all the paintwork looks really nice. As you can see, the color is 
extremely close and that's how we like it we are going to go ahead and start on the forerunner now so i'm going to pull this thing out put it back into the lot and we'll get the forerunner in here and start doing work on it if you guys remember we did the support on it and the apron and now we are going to start buttoning it up for good so let's go ahead and get that thing in here and start on it all right i'm going to knock some of this front end out if you guys remember we replaced this we replaced this support right here and check it out we got all the spot welds and everything looks absolutely beautiful we even mimic the original paint as you can see very little paint there just blue overspray same with our side literally all this turned out super awesome you wouldn't even be able to tell this thing was right we even painted the support exactly how the factory did it with the tan undertone and then blue overspray over the top i think this is the original paint the original color of the entire car it's a factory eco and then they paint the car so we painted it exactly how that one was so now anyone who tears this down is literally going to be thinking they're looking at oem stuff but one issue we do have is right here these are damaged as you can see and that's what i'm going to work on right now we need to fix these and get them good and painted that way the rebar will fit onto here so i'm going to go ahead and get started i already unbent this one but this one is still bent in a little bit so we're going to get my pipe wrench and we're going to straighten it i'm going to sand it paint it and then what we need to do also is weld nuts onto the back. As you can see, a couple of these got ripped off in the accident. So we'll find the proper nuts, weld them to the back, and then paint everything. And it'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started and start fixing it up. All right, guys, check it out. So I got this done. Unfortunately, guys, I am going to have to cut this episode short. I'll explain in a second, but we will get all this off right here. Like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry because I completely forgot I have an appointment today. So that is going to be it on this. Stay tuned, guys. Next episode, we'll get all this buttoned up, this whole front end together and aligned with the bumper. And I can't wait to see it all together. Then we'll knock those airbags out inside there and this thing will be ready to go. So stay tuned. If you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I apologize. I did forget. I'm actually going to look at a house right now. Me and Angie are trying to buy one. So I completely forgot about the appointment. And now I literally have to rush over there because I don't want to leave the realtor waiting. So I'm going to go check that out. Stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot more content coming. This thing's going to paint next week. We'll get that thing knocked out. And then once all the parts come in for the white truck, we'll go ahead and build that. You can go ahead and follow us on Instagram if you want at motorhead.co. I post a lot of this stuff before these videos ever drop. So if you want an inside scoop, and more of a personal like feel like you're here be sure to check out the instagram at motorhead.co thanks for all the love and support and thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one peace mm -hmm.